Seven meter will even fly in this wind. I just got off the water. First test drive of the new Duotone. It's a mid-season release, the Mono for 2020. Yes, folks, that's right, it's a seven meter. Every other kite on the water out there is a 10 or bigger. Even a fly surfer sole 10 meter with a foil. This seven meter just floats in the sky like it's weightless. It's unbelievable. I mean, there's hardly a white cap on the water. I started foiling back in 2013 and I needed the nine and the 10 meter in my quiver. These kites have gotten so much lighter over the last, whatever, seven years, that now my seven might be the biggest kite I need for kite foiling here in the gorge. This one struck kite is built lighter for 2020. They're using a new Dacron, a 140 gram Dacron on the leading edge and the single center strut to really lighten up the canopy. The D2 material is probably one of the lightest out there. Um, so all in all, this seven meter just feels weightless. Yet there's still some reaction, some bar pressure in my hands. I know where the kite's at. I tried to make this kite do wrong. I mean, I self-launched it, self-landed it. The self-launch was effortless. Self-landing, no problem. Then again, you know, self-landing in light wind is a little bit easier. I dropped it out in the water, down on its leading edge. I pulled back on the outside lines and made it back fly and stall onto its trailing edge. I tried just about every which way to make this kite roll up taco up, bow tie up, but it just wanted to relaunch. So user-friendly kite, I would almost say beginner-friendly kite, you can get away with a much smaller size if you're learning on the mono. So, directional board, foil board, one struck kite. As much as I want to sell you 10 kites in your quiver, you might not need more than two or three. All right, so this is TJ. I'm down at the Hood River Sandbar testing the new 2020 Duotone Mono 7-meter kite. <laughs>